Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man who's going to make his Bellator debut. Bellator 233 Friday night, November the 8th. Of course, live on the Paramount Network and streaming on the zone. Kyle, I appreciate the time, man. Obviously, uh, getting a chance to, to learn about you. Everyone knows about uh, you know your rest credentials and whatnot. But was, was there a moment when you realized that you, you just felt that MMA was ultimately where you were heading? Um, yes, sir. Actually, I, I, I've been... Uh... I've been a big fan of MMA since I was in high school and uh, I, I've kind of always had that demeanor about me that uh, people have always thought I was going to fight. So it just kind of got spoken to existence. I mean, as I wrestled in college, the the more I wrestled, the more I, I, I kind of uh, started becoming a little bit more aggressive. And then, um, yeah, when I graduated, I wanted to still compete and, and I felt like me and wrestling um, kind of had our had our time together, and it was time for me to change to something different, and that was MMA. Do you remember the first MMA fight you watched? Oh man, uh, no, I, not the first one I watched, but I remember the the first time that I, I, I kind of knew someone, and that was kind of the the kind of defining moment in in this whole thing. I uh, Johnny Hendricks fought. I think it might have been Koscheck, and we had a little party little house party for all the, the wrestling, my wrestling team in high school. And, um, you know, we got together and he did real well. And that was kind of the time. I don't know if it was cause check or I forget, but I just remember that was like the first time that I really knew someone and, and knew it kind of been a possibility for me. Anyone who has, you know, learned about, you know, that, you know, wrestling at Oklahoma state. And of course now at AKA, was it a natural transition that, that you just knew right from the start that AKA obviously w- with Daniel Cormier's ties uh, to the program, that that was the place for you to be? Yeah. Uh, at first I actually got a couple phone calls from different uh, gyms. I, I trained at Alpha Male for six days. I can't, uh, Uriah Faber fly me, flew me out to uh, Sacramento and that was kind of, when I, when I first started doing MMA and then, uh, as I'm, I'm driving with Uriah down the road in Sacramento, I get a phone call from DC and pretty much he told me to cancel that and to, he's going to fly me out to San Jose ASAP. And so I left Sacramento, flew home. And then the next day was on a flight back out to San Jose. And, um, once I got to AK and I, I seen what was going on and I, I met all the coaches and, and DC kind of showed me around, I, it was, it was very natural fit. Do you remember what the first day was like at AK for you? Just what was it kind of like, did you feel like it was the first day of, uh, you know, a college practice? Yeah. I mean, I, uh, so I get off the plane, Bob cook. Uh, I don't know anything about Bob at the time. I thought he was like a guy who was like my Uber driver or something. And then, uh, so we're, we're driving from, I think I flew into San Francisco. I, I flew into San Fran and then we drove from there to AK. Um, as soon as I get in there, DC is like, Hey man, what's up? I put some gear in the, the locker room, go put it on and get ready to go. So I, uh, like I said, man, I don't know any, I, I just did like six days of this. Obviously don't have very much, uh, background in the striking part. And then they make me uh, they make me spar a couple of rounds with some of the guys in the in the gym. So it was pretty uh, it was a pretty intense first day. I mean, I just got off the plane as soon as I get I touch down at AK. I'm putting gear on and and doing something I've never done before. So you know, obviously everyone knows crazy Bob Cook, and, and I know listen to Josh Thompson's podcast. You know, one of the things he's talked about with Bob is. You know, he's like, Bob's just, he's brutally honest with you, you know, in the corner, he's going to tell you whether you won or, or lost, um, you know, for, for Bob and obviously what, what he does for, for the team there, what, what sticks out to you about what makes him a, a unique coach? Exactly what you just said. He, uh, he, he's brutally honest, man. He'll tell you exactly what's, what you're doing wrong. And, and, you know, if he compliments you, it's, it's, it's generally a, uh, like a legit comment. I mean, a, a legit co- compliment so he uh he's just so knowledgeable he, he, he when he talks it's it's easy to listen you know he, he just all makes sense at all all the time it, man he's just he's very consistent of being there all the time he's just always there so he just man the, the the fact that he can he can sit there and just tell you exactly what's going on and how it works and why it works and then when you try it 
if you do something wrong, he tells you how you did it wrong. Um, he just has a lot of confidence in what he does and, and, and that, you know, you can feel that confidence when he talks. So, and of course you got the Bellator debut here and, and, and this is an opportunity for, for fans to get to know you here with this fight. And, and I know as an athlete, you don't always get to control what is said about you and, and what people think about you, but what would you want the MMA fan to know about you heading into this fight? Um, Man, I you know I, I think uh, I, I think my fighting will kind of speak for itself. You know, I I started out uh, about two years ago, and I'm just now kind of getting to where I, I'm really starting to figure this stuff out. Um, you know, I have great coaches, great training partners, and if there's anything they need to know, is like I'm I'm there to I'm there to fight, I'm there to win, I'm there to to be in shape, I'm there to make weight. I'm just I'm just going to be a professional with everything I do. And uh, other than that, man, I think the the fight, my fighting will, will kind of speak for itself on that. I don't know if you're a, a type of person that gets nervous, but if you do, do you get more nervous for a wrestling match or an MMA fight? For me, it's about the same. I, I think uh, if you told me that I was going to play a video game versus someone I know that was going to be competitive, I kind of get those nerves then too. I, uh, I just, I, I'm very competitive and that's just something that I've always done. And, and, and so when I compete, man, I just get this feeling that, uh, it's just kind of always there in anything I do. I don't, I wouldn't necessarily, I get nervous about either one more. Um, it's just kind of the same one for anything that I do. So your opponent, you know, 10 professional fights here, obviously that that's something that he's going to look at as, as having the experience, but uh, you know, why, why do you see yourself walking away with the victory on, on Friday? I've had over probably 5,000 wrestling matches in my life. I've competed in front of 42,000 to, you know, 20,000, 30,000. I've been on the biggest stages in my life. Um, and, and I train with the best guys in the world and have the best coaches in the world. Um, so I, I don't really necessarily look at, it, at, at his record or how many fights he's had. I just know that I've been there. I've done this kind of stuff before. I've always been able to compete. I've always competed at the highest level. You can, you know, you can look at my track record and, and um, you can see those things. So, um, man, I'm just, I'm just a confident guy. I, you know, any, anything I do, I just, I expect myself to do well. And that's through hard work and, and, and knowledge that I've learned from, you know, the best team in the world. So, um, I mean, I'm just a confident guy. So, if anything, I, I just, I've always expect myself to win no matter what situation. If you had not had taken this route to, to be a professional fighter, what, what do you think the, the career would be? Um, honestly, man, I probably would have, uh, tried to make an Olympic team, um, try to do as best I could in the wrestling world, but more than likely I, I would, have I would have probably been coaching. I, I like to coach wrestling and, um, I've learned a lot. You know, I wrestled under John Smith who, this is arguably the greatest wrestler of all time. And I learned a lot of technique and things that, uh, from him. So I would have found myself at a college somewhere coaching. So, and of course, everyone's be able to see your Bellator debut Bellator 233 live on the Paramount network also streams live on the zone. Kyle, man, as always, uh, I appreciate the time. Look forward to seeing your fight and good luck here at Bellator 233. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.